Hi guys, I'm Holland here, episode 7 of Bringing Lifestyle and Fandom Realness. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Before we get started, please go ahead and hit that like button. It really does help out that vicious algorithm. And it's my birthday week, so please help me out here. <laughs> it is a milestone birthday for myself, and I am so grateful that I'm able to celebrate it here with all of you. Now, in the past, I have done birthday hauls where I split it up into two videos, but I will not be doing that. So I will be doing a very extensive, massive birthday haul for myself. So please go ahead, get comfortable, get a snack, do what you gotta do you know, start the dishes, <laughs> whatever you need to do to busy yourself to enjoy because this is going to be a little extensive. And it's only my fault because I just can't say no to myself on my birthday. <laughs> or actually anytime, right? <laughs> Somebody hide my wallet. I'm not kidding. <laughs> but I will say the stack that I have next to me is not entirely an act of, of a spoiled brat. <laughs> I do have here a wonderful surprise gift sent by none other than Pam over at Coco for Disney, who is my Auntie Coco, and I'm so, oh my gosh, you have no idea how great it feels to be able to say that Pam, Coco for Disney, is your aunt. <laughs> I am just so grateful that she would even let me give her that nickname going forward. But Pam, again, is one of the most admired people in the community, and we are just so grateful to know her, and her generosity knows no bounds. And <laughs> when I saw the box come in, I immediately messaged her and I said, you sneaky, sneaky person, you. <laughs> because my love language is gift giving, and I can understand if that's other people's love language as well. Also, I am not good at receiving gifts because I am extremely particular, as you all may know. <laughs> and at the same time, I just don't like the concept of people spending their hard-earned money on me when I am clearly spoiling myself as it is. <laughs> but I am not to deny anyone their blessing and receiving a blessing myself. So I have accepted it and I'm excited and it will be the first thing I share with you today. So let's get into it. So here it is and she even wrote in her beautiful handwriting, happy birthday. I have no idea what's inside. And again, Auntie Coco, Pam, Coco for Disney, I am so grateful to you. Thank you so much for thinking about me. I am eternally grateful for your friendship, for your love, for your support. You are the best and I cannot wait to see what's inside here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't have a PO box or anything for you guys to send me anything because I don't want you to overextend yourself or feel obligated. That's just not what I'm about. That's not what this channel is for. More power to the people who you know, have their platforms. And I mean, when you do this for, for a full-time job, it's totally understandable, but you'll never have to send me anything. Unless you want to, you can, again, go to my Instagram here and just give me a DM and we can talk. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, so glad I didn't open this up like a brute like I used to. Oh my gosh. So on this side, delicately, she put up this calendar piece and says March. Oh my gosh. And on the other side, it says Juan's PJ. Oh my goodness. Auntie Coco, so sweet. And then she decorated this flap here in rainbow. It says happy birthday. Yay, I love that. She included this very cute safari Mickey and Minnie. And there's Pluto here at the side here, but this is so cool. I love this. You can already see that my I'm matching my shirt now. My face is red because I'm just overwhelmed already <laughs> just by opening the box. I haven't gotten to the contents. She sent me this beautiful postcard of Alebrije Dante. Oh, we both love Coco. So this is so fitting. And her card reads, Juan. Look, even Dante is excited about your birthday. <laughs> this has been an item that I have been wanting to send you for some time. I hope you love it. Happy birthday, precious friend, Auntie Coco. <laughs> Thank you so much, Auntie Coco. And this item, oh my gosh, let me go ahead. For quite some time, oh my gosh. <laughs> and it's in here. <laughs> my gosh, look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. 
Let's see, let's see. <laughs> oh, Auntie Coco. I can now have this on my list. <laughs> this has been on my wish list since it dropped. Oh my gosh. It dropped it. Is. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I just like what? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I have been wanting this bag since it debuted. And I am so flabbergasted that I now own it. Wow. <laughs> Not only in the Season of Sparkle did she gift me with a beautiful lounge light in that box, but now she's done it again with this one. And I think I'm so happy and so grateful that you have been paying attention that I am interested in collecting more of the heroes slash prince characters over the princess characters and i do love me some disney princesses don't get me wrong but for my collection i kind of wanted to stick to this because again they're not extremely over in abundance so it does make the collection a little bit more unique now even though this is you know embroidered on this is not metal which i kind of thought they dropped the ball on that that they couldn't make this a metal uh i do appreciate that you know you don't have to really worry about like when it if it if for any reason if this was to fall that this would scratch that would be devastating but they do give you this wonderful profile coin of oh my gosh this is so great this is a hercules and then on the other side Oh, it just says Disney. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be this symbol here, but that's fine. Uh, this is a symbol of the gods, symbol of Zeus. And then it has his breastplate here and it has the beautiful deep blue here for the placard with the other brown detailing, the stitching. And it has clasps here that mimic the greatest feature on this, which is this cape detail. Oh my gosh. And of course the bag hit is the wonderful Pegasus. And oh, I just love this burnt orange color with the blue. It has the brown padded straps. It has gold hardware, which is my favorite. The lighting is Pegasus and Hercules all over. And it does have a zippered pocket, which is my favorite. I prefer that over gusseted because I just think it's a little cheap when they don't add an inside zipper. Oh my gosh auntie coco thank you so much for this i am so thrilled so over the moon that i can now add this to my hercules collection again we do love hercules so that's another fandom that we share and i just i am in awe oh my gosh this is great just so you know the color does go down there but there's no extra details and the lighting is here in the front pocket awesome auntie coco so so generous thank you so much if you guys don't know where to get this this is a 707 street exclusive and it is still on the website and it is definitely worth to have if you are a hercules collector uh, again i wanted it since it had premiered and thankfully i waited because now <laughs> i was able to receive this as a wonderful wonderful un necessary <laughs> gift from the beloved Pam over at Coco for Disney. So I'm sure if you're here, you're subscribed to her already. If you're not, 
please go over there and send her some love. She is so close to a thousand subscribers. Isn't that amazing? And so well deserved. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Thank you, Auntie Coco. Oh, I'm warm now. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and get into some collectibles. Starting off with this Diamond Edition Winnie the Pooh in the Honey Pot, which is so freaking cute. I love Diamond Edition Pops. It's not any surprise. What I love about this one is now he's the Honey Pot and him are all decked out in the glitter. I love that they have the honey there that is translucent. They have the bees there that look so adorable. And I just love, love, love how glittery this is. I love Diamond Edition Pops. I would prefer them over the common any day. And he, he just looks so amazing. And oh, I am so, so excited to add him to my collection. The back of the box is number 1104. This number does not change because there was a common one, but now I have the Diamond Edition version. I'm so excited. The next collectible I have is a Grail item. I finally have this Pirates of the Caribbean treasure skeleton. This pop came out in 2020, so at the height of the pandemic. So I honestly was not at all gonna think that I was ever gonna get this, but I saw it and I got it for a wonderful price and patience does pay off. Let's go ahead and see what he looks like outside the box. So right away, you can see that beautiful sculpting of the treasure chest embedded into that mountain of gold with the jewels. He has jewels in his hands. He's sitting on it so nicely with one shoe off. I just love the look of the skeleton. They did the sculpt so nicely and the hat is crazy cool. I love the red bandana. And again, more of that chest detail. There's a skull on that chest. Now on the front of it, there's like a cross on the side. It's just so done so nicely. And I am so freaking excited that I finally have this in my collection. This next collectible I'm going to share with you is something that I've really started collecting. And they are Nick and Charlie YouTubes. Oh my gosh. This is fantastic. So of course with YouTubes, they come already in a box protector. This was actually a pre-order. I had gotten it when I was getting those Stranger Things figures, but it was on pre-order, so it didn't come directly with them. So I had to wait a bit and they came in just in time. Oh, look at this artwork. This Nick and Charlie staring at each other in their classroom and form, which is pretty much like their homeroom. It has like this detailing of the leaves, but it's like a brick exterior, so it kind of looks like it's graffiti. And you see it says Netflix Heartstopper there. It's the bottom of the box. It's the top of the box. Oh my gosh, so cute. This is what I love about YouTube's is that they put a lot of emphasis on the artwork on the outside. Like this is just a sleeve, okay? <laughs> and you're getting all this wonderful artwork. And it continues on. Oh my gosh, Nick and Charlie. Y'all know I love Heartstopper. So that's the top that we just saw. And in the back is the pitch for rugby. It's so freaking cool. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, amazing. Like, I, <laughs> I'm not lying, but the, the Heartstopper playlist is just like popping off in my head right now. <laughs> it's such a good soundtrack. I highly recommend y'all check it out. Not everything can be great in Paradise. Unfortunately, the leg has popped off, but I can just glue that back together. But check out the top of this desk. It has the iconic leaves here and it does have their books on it. So, I mean, that's pretty freaking cute. <laughs> And individually, they just look so amazing. We have Nick here in his tie when he does not wear a jacket. He is a year older than Charlie, so I think he gets away with it because he's a beloved rugby player. <laughs> and then we have Charlie, and he looks so pleased with himself. He's just so happy. He gets to sit next to his crush, and that his crush eventually is returning his feelings. And oh my gosh, his eyebrows are very thick. His hair looks so nice. I love the sculpting. He has even the calyx in the back of his head. 
and he's sitting there all prim and proper with his sweater vest on and he looks so well put together. He's just so stinking cute. It's just so stinking adorable. I am obsessed. They're gonna look amazing next to my other Heartstopper items. Speaking of which, I was able to add this winter to my ever-growing Heartstopper collection. This, this is a, consider a novella, and it says right there, a Heartstopper novella. <laughs> Essentially, it's a little short story set during the holidays, so it's really cute. We have Charlie here with Tori, and this, this is Oliver. On the back, you see a forlorn Nick there, oh, and his jumper. You can see like the Christmas tree in the background. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm so excited for season three to be coming out very soon. And uh, Kit Connor, who plays Nick, and Toby Donovan, who plays their friend Isaac, recently came to New York over the past weekend and saw Joe on Broadway in Sweeney Todd. And he looks so cute and it's giving me all the reunion feels and I just cannot wait for season three. It's going to be so, so good. So I have this box. <laughs> and we have this Loungefly exclusive of Woody. Oh my gosh. Specifically, Woody's Roundup. Here he is. <laughs> I love his little smile. All this is embroidered detailing the eyes, even his mouth. This is the applique here. And they have, like, the background is pixelated, so it has that grainy effect. And I love the sepia tones on this. And he looks just so freaking cute. And of course, what really won me over is this gold. Oh, this gold. It's so great. Look at the graining they have here to mimic the TV. This is actually all textured. So this is a raised. And here's the dial here. So for oh, those of you who didn't know, at one point you actually had to go up to the TV to physically change the channels. <laughs> back in the day and I just love this faux wood grating on it it's so great you see the extender tabs here are gold as well the side pockets have the gold here and it's so great this beautiful trim oh, and all this is textured as well so embossed debossed whatever it's just all raised here and it is gold hardware my favorite it has this plaque here this is like a deep rich brown and has also the gold around it. It's just so freaking cute. Look at that. Oh my gosh, the piping is amazing. And that nice brown. I'm kind of glad that this does not extend here. So you can rehab it completely sit this down. Oh my gosh, this is the first bag of its kind that I have. I know there was like a Pinocchio bag, there's been a stitch bag. So this is like the mechanism where you can, either, you can pull the string here and the arms animate themselves like a marionette puppet. And it does come off here. Like, <laughs> that's quite the wingspan, Woody. <laughs> this lanky sheriff. <laughs> hey! <laughs> this is so funny. But this is so fun. And it's just nice. I love bags that have gimmicks to them, makes them more interesting. But this is how far it can go up and then just pull here. And I don't know, you just have to mess with it a little bit. But at the same time, it's like not really necessary, but it gives you the whole full effect of the marionette puppets that were in place of Woody's Roundup for the TV show, which is so great. I love how this is meta. It is a deep dive into the world of Toy Story. And I just love Toy Story 2. It is one of my favorites of all time. That beautiful grading does continue on. This is not any rays. This is actually flat, so you don't have to worry about that. But you do have the logo here for Woody's Roundup. Just so, so cute. And the straps are these gorgeous, gorgeous gold as well with the brown extenders. Ah, oh, so nice. It does have a gusset slip pocket, but you can see on the inside, there's Woody riding bullseye and has just little elements of the wild west and this is just so great i love the nostalgic factor of this of course i got the wallet you know i love a set and i love that it is his face up front here and again this is all embroidered as well so they didn't leave out that detail you know and the gold oh i'm just loving this gold foiling so beautiful oh the dials here you can get a better look of the lining so there's like a star cut out here for the id 
section and it says Sheriff Woody and it has a wonderful space for multiple cards and it even has my favorite detail of the zip pouch where all your cash and loose change. Oh, so great. Oh my gosh. I believe this is still available on the Anschlag's website. Don't quote me on that, but go ahead and check them out if you're interested in this bag. It is at such a great steal at this point. Uh, when it really came out, it was like around 90 bucks. I was like, I'm not paying $9 for this bag. <laughs> as beautiful as it is, I mean, we all have our moments. We're like, well, I can spend that to something else. But because no one was really asking for this, but I'm glad they do have it. If you are a Toy Story fan, please go ahead and try to map this. It will not look at all out of place in your collection. I'm just obsessed with it. I'm so happy I have this. The next item I have to share with you is right here. Uh, and we have the Stranger Things Hawkins High Cosplay Backpack. Uh, oh my gosh. This is so freaking beautiful. I'm obsessed. This was a great deal. I think I believe I think I got it off Amazon and when I saw the price it was at, I was like, okay, now's the time to wrap it. <laughs> and this is just a tip. If you are interested in collecting Stranger Things, now is the time to get into it. Just because once season five hits, everything is just gonna go up in price because the series is about to end. Not for a while, but that's where it's headed towards. So once something sunsets. It's generally, you know, you're gonna pay an arm and a leg to try to get back into the market. That being said, I needed to get this bag before it was too late. <laughs> so I am just upset that this is like a massive patch here of the tiger. And it says 1986, so we are in season four here. You can see elements of this creepy vine work here that is representing the upside down under Hawkins. This green is beautiful. Green is my favorite color. I love the piping. And then this here is like reminiscent of the cheerleaders uniform. There's this plaque here that says Stranger Things in this beautiful green with the orange detail around it. The piping is great. This color is great. It's gold hardware, which is my favorite. This does have side pockets. And we have the H here for Hawkins. And we have more of the upside down detailing here. On the other side, we do have another side pocket here. And then now we have the paw of the tiger with the upside down detailing. So nice. And on the back, it says Hawkins number eight. And this is alluding to Lucas's jersey. And which is kind of funny because you usually have the last person's name and then their number. But this is more generic. It just says Hawkins eight. So we're not spending any more extra money <laughs> on specifying anything for you for a bench warmer. But um, he ends up not being a bench warmer. Again, go back to season four. You don't know what I mean. And this is just so great. It's just that, that dichotomy of this high school and the upside down lurking beneath. It does have a slip pocket and it just says Hawkins High School script all around. Again, we have the orange padded straps and then we have the orange bottom. So this is so nice. I love anything that's like collegiate or prep feeling. So this really fed into that. And I forgot to show you this zipper pull here. It says go tigers. So cool. And you can see the front pocket there. This is actually, I think a bigger bag than the standard. Yeah, look at that size difference. <laughs> and I love that. This is a lot more substantial. This is a great decorative, but this one you can actually use. I don't really see myself using it all that much, but I, cause I just don't want to, you know, ruin the integrity of the bag, but I just love that it is more, you know, substantial than a normal lounge fly. So cool. Of course I got the wallet. Y'all know I love a set. So here we have this side here with the plaque. So gorgeous. Like I said, green is my favorite color. So this is just so beautiful to me. On the other side, we just have the emblem of here of Hawkins High School. This is not a patch of any sort. It's just, uh, it's just like debossed. Oh, and then this is an applique on top. And this is the wallet inside. It's pretty simple, but it still has that beautiful lining that says Hawkins High School. This bag came out in 2022. And again, I was late to the game when it comes to Stranger Things, but I am so happy that I am continuing to grow that collection. And for my birthday, I just had to do it.
There's no doubt. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for hanging out for so long. I have one final item to share with you before we end today's video. Here it is. We have this Disneyland Parks icon bag. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, this is a Disney Parks lounge fly specifically. As indicated by that beautiful black plaque with this iridescent blue. Oh my gosh. Gosh, even the printing on here for the stars and the fireworks and Tinkerbell have an iridescent heat, um, effect to them. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Now, again, Disneyland is my home park and I've been waiting for a park bag for a while like this. This is what I would call my pacifier, as Miss Shea would say, <laughs> because this is the bag I really wanted, which when it first came out, that I was not really collecting last night, nor did I have the funds to jump on that bag. And so that is like a grill bag for me. If I can ever find that bag, and it's not over $500, <laughs> then I would love to add to my collection. But until then, this definitely suffices because again, I love iconography and it does have Sleeping Beauty's castle here. We have Carthay Circle and we have Mickey's Pal Around or Pixar Pal Around, whatever they're calling it these days. We have the Matterhorn and we have Space Mountain. So just so great and to say Disneyland Resort and it's so shimmery and beautiful. Oh, love that detail. The piping is just gorgeous. You can see how it does all that shimmering effect with blues to purples. And it's just so nice. And I love that same effect on the side here with the, the side pockets. You've already seen this bag before, I know. If you watch Brianna's Place or if you catch me on the fly, she's she has as well with her cute dog, Fairy Floss, <laughs> showing off this bag as part of her collection. And it's just a great, great bag. You can see back here. This is where they have the hidden zipper compartment. And I love that this is actually like a dimensional thing that it's not flat. So even though I will never use that front pocket, <laughs> I do like that it has this depth to it where it's not just one flat thing. And oh, just so freaking cute. And we've seen this back hit, but this also does that shimmering beautiful action. And it is Sleeping Beauty's Castle in the Mickey head. So it's a great back hit. You know, I already have the pin. So I needed this. I want to say it has silver hardware, like definitely the pull tabs are, but there's like this rainbow effect in the teeth themselves. So it's not just silver. Oh my gosh. And the core for here is just the parks icons with this nice peachy color in the background. And it's just so adorable. And of course, it does not come with a wallet, so that's a downside. But overall, I'm so happy to have this, y'all. This bag cost me $40. $40. This was retailing for $88. And the reason I got it is because the day I was looking at this, I had a $10 credit because I had an issue with uh, Disney Store now. It used to be Shop Disney. And, you know, I rectified it and then I was going back and then saw that this bag had been discounted heavily due to um, a D23 sale that they're having. So if you had a D23 account, it was applicable, whether you were a gold member or not, that the, some of these items were on sale. And this one was heavily on sale considering. And then I had that $10 credit as well that I could apply to it. So it just knocked it down and the, another item I added to the cart uh, with it. And it just, uh, it's now it's here. And that's exactly what I wanted. I did not want to pay full price for this bag because I know that when they're not as popular, they do go to the character warehouse and you can just pick them up there because park bags are notorious for doing that. But I was like, now is my chance. Do it, get it. <laughs> get it at a great price so you don't feel guilty. <laughs> So I'm just so obsessed that I have this and I love this so much and I'm so happy I have it. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Again, a big shout out to the lovely, the wonderful Miss Pam over at Coco for Disney, my Auntie Coco for this wonderful Hercules backpack. I'm so grateful. And of course I did 
continue on that theme with spoiling myself with more last life for my birthday. <laughs> oh my gosh, you can only imagine Bay's reaction. They're like, more bags? <laughs> I said, yes, more bags. <laughs> Again, a huge thank you to all my subscribers. I'm so happy that you're here. Please continue to like, comment, share this video with someone you think that might enjoy it. Again, we are so close to that 500 mark. So the sooner we get there, the sooner I can just give y'all my undying gratitude plus some great goodies. <laughs> now I can officially go into my birthday weekend with so much more joy. And I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you for everyone who has reached out to wish me a happy birthday this month. I truly appreciate it. Like I had said before on my Instagram, hint, hint, go there. <laughs> I had made a post where I had said that I didn't even know if I was going to make it to 30. I had a really scary health incident that um, was essentially putting me on my deathbed and I was able to bounce back from that thanks to very great modern medicine and a lot of prayers and positive energy sent my way. And I am so grateful that I get to celebrate another year of life and celebrate with all of you. So thank you so much again to everyone who's reached out, who said a kind word, or who just has watched my videos because I was gone for almost two weeks and I really do appreciate you continuing the support as we go on. I am so excited to build this community even further. Again, as I mentioned in my last video, I will be having a channel announcement going forward next week. So please stay tuned for that. Until then, be safe. Tell someone you love them because tomorrow's never promised. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.